So the very next thing we have is Yahushua's, Yahushua, which means Yahweh is salvation. Interesting name Joshua has. Uh, so Yahweh is salvation, prays for the day to be longer, prays for more light. And it says that there's that the sun stood still and haste didn't rush to go down. How is that possible? Is it possible because I realize there's some incredible atmospheric stuff going on here right now. You're, you're talking about a massive, massive supercell, okay, that God's in charge of. So it's huge. That's a micro cell right there compared to what we're talking. That's literally a micro cell. And so you've got the sun. You see the sun right there, and that's creating light. So if I ask you, where is the sun in that picture? You're going to say, or if you're standing there, literally you're standing there, you're going to say, it's right there, right? Let me show you something. This is, an, this is literally an atmospheric phenomenon. The sun is actually over here. There's a second sun right there. See it? There's two suns. How is there two suns in the sky? Talk to the guy that made it. He'll explain it to us one day. Um, there's a second sun. There's two suns in the sky. So this is, uh, this is a phenomenon. It's not um, highly unusual. You don't see them every day. I've seen it a few times. This was one of the more dramatic ones I've seen. But my point is, God can put, the sun can be over there, and he can move it back here. And that's literally what you're seeing there. And I've took that picture in the last 30 days. And I think Yahweh wanted me to share it with you guys. Where you've got sons here who are, are just a long ways apart. Okay? And they are shining. They're both very bright. They're, vir they're virtually equally bright. One's not much brighter than the other. And they're both behind this big cloud. And so what I'm saying is that this is talking from the perspective of the people. Okay? What they see is a sun that's not moving. Or a sun that maybe even in the case of, of this situation, which again isn't highly unusual. Um, where it would actually stay light as the physical, in other words, uh, the earth keeps moving, but you can get these atmospheric conditions where you would get this sun. Sometimes it's referred to as a sun dog, but those are usually small ones. This is literally a second sun, very, very bright. Um, and like I say, this system is so small. And, and we know from the size of these hailstones here that this is a massive system they're doing. Really, really easy for God to have a light just stand there as the from our perspective, as the sun would be continuing across the sky, he could keep one right there. There's two suns in the sky right over your house. <laughs> so that's how that's possible. Um, there's, now, there's another weird argument that I'm just going to throw out that people say, well, if it had happened, it would have been, it would have been catastrophic, and it would have. If the earth were to stop, it would be catastrophic. I mean, it, it would just, it would be catastrophic. And they say, well, it would have been written about... This is some of the oldest writing in existence right here. You really don't have a whole lot of history from this time period, from the time of Abraham. You really don't have history. A very little information. We have the Code of Hammurabi, just copies of it, which is basically a, their laws. Um, um, you know, who's the king and stuff like that. But you don't have day-to-day -day, uh, just literal stories of a guy from his birth to his death and how God's dealing with it. The Bible's pretty unique, unique in this time period. But uh, my point is that uh, realize that he's already manipulating the atmosphere to fight the battle for Israel. It's a piece of cake, and that's my point. It's a piece of cake for God to have the sun appear to just sit there. I mean, if he can have two suns, he can have three suns, he can have, you know, and just let it sit there as if appearance of the physical sun would be going down. Of course, we know that's from the earth moving. But, um, so I'm just saying, this is not a strange thing. This is not the earth didn't stop and it didn't, it, it, you know, it doesn't need to. Okay? You see, this is all within reasonable atmospheric probabilities. Got it? Amen? Okay. So don't forget whose stuff this is when you see God doing stuff with nature. It's his stuff. Okay. He created every molecule, every atom, every quark, and they all obey him because he created them with his mouth. He said, exist, and they do exist. What do you think happens when he says, do this? They do it. Amen? 
That's cool. All right. I just wanted to share that.